Hi guys, so I have just finished work not too long ago. I'm about to head on to my head on down to my parents' house for Mother's Day dinner. But I had to freaking wait for this. I totally forgot that I'd ordered this and I didn't want it to just be left on my front door spoiled. So anyway, it is 4.30 and they said that my delivery would be here between the hours of 1 till 5. So really pushing it for time and I was actually getting quite anxious. But this is what it looks like. It's this giant box. It's so giant. And there's a little recipe book which I'm pretty sure these cost. But somehow I've managed to get them free. Or is this? Okay, this is not a book. This is just where you put your recipes, I think. Anyway, super excited. So me and Avi, as you guys know, we both, well, he does shift work. I work till seven. So dinner is one of those meals where we honestly cannot be bothered. So we decided that we'll try out Bargain Box, see how it goes. The price for this one that we got, which is uh, enough for a couple, was... $94. We got $10 off because we I saw a, a promo code so it would be $104. So our next round will be $104. So I think yeah the price I'm still a bit like mm, yeah I don't know. But anyway convenience wise this is going to be good. So let's open it together and let's see what it all looks like. I just need to get me a knife. Hold on one sec. So I've got the mini box, which is five meals. You can actually get three meals if you wanted to. But I thought five would be good because then that means we're sorted for the whole week. Uh, ooh, why is this so exciting? I'm so excited. Okay. Wow, this is actually cool how it's all... Okay, so there's the meal. It's right there. Oh, we've got a bonus recipe. Mug cake for mum because it's Mother's Day today, so. Okay, so I'm going to pan over for you. So here is the produce. Wow. The produce. And then I think over here must be the cool. Ah, oh, yes. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the meals this week are Bombay chicken curry. Pineapple hawk steaks, crunchy chicken nibbles, beef cottage pie, and ham and cheese pasta bag. The pasta bag I'm not too like keen on. Like I love pasta, but pasta does not like me. So um, that's Friday, which is fine. Um, beef cottage pie. I'm gonna change it to Wednesday because my uh, because Avi doesn't eat beef. So on that day, I'm gonna have to find something in my own freezer. But let's just get into what we've got. And here so we've got spinach. Some pasta, oh, fancy stuff, some celery, oh what's this, oh cool, bargain box, um, panko breadcrumbs which I already have, so there'll be a few stuff in here that I probably already have, oh look how cute that coconut cream is, it's all chilled as well, we've got a beetroot, yay I love fresh beetroot, um, We've got the cottage spices, so the spices come like that. We've got the nibble spices, and we've got the Bombay spices for the curry. I like that. Like I said, a zucchini, which I barely ever buy because they can be quite costly. <gasps> Kumara! Oh, and potatoes! This is actually what I need. And they've made sure they've got the exact amount, so 800 grams. We've got a red cabbage. I noticed they've all got their like little bargain box stickers on everything, which is quite handy. An onion. So it's cool because you get every single ingredient. Like I've already got these ingredients in my pantry, but like you literally get every ingredient. All these tomatoes look good. Some tomatoes, a broccoli. Oh my gosh, look how cute this little, what is this? I think it's tomato paste. Look how little and cute it is. We've got some cornbread mix. What's that for? 
cornbread mix. We've got a really small amount of basmati rice. Um, oh, that's cute! Look how the pineapple comes with a little fork thingy. Is that a fork thing? And oh, this one had a bit of an accident by the looks of it. And three carrots. Okay, so moving on to the um, other stuff, the more chilled stuff. So we've got an ice pack, which is awesome. And we have some free range chicken nibbles. Yay, love free range. Um, we've got some Parmesan cheese by Puhui Valley, the best. And also got some feta. Yum. I love how everything's like, you know, together. We've got some Gisborne garden peas. These look delicious. I need to quickly put those in the freezer because I can feel those defrosting. We've got some uh, yogurt. We've got some shaved manuka ham. We've got free range chicken breast. And some more ice packs. And then the lucky last is some Freedom Farm rump steaks. And this must be for the cottage, the beef cottage pie. Beef cottage pie? Pie? Cottage? Yeah, cottage pie. <laughs> nice. That mince looks so good because I'm going to count down and getting that yuck mince. And then it's also got this stuff here, which I looks. Please leave me out for the driver to pick up on your next delivery. Oh wow, that's awesome. That is so cool. I like that. So anyway, this week I'm going to film, I'm not going to film like me cooking it because this intro is already long enough, but I'm going to film and then at the end show you what I felt, how I felt about the Spark and Box and uh, if I'm going to be repurchasing because I have already signed up for the fortnightly pickups, which I think will be really good for us. And there's a lot of food in here. Like this looks like this is definitely going to last us. So, and we could also have them like leftovers. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll check back with you in the week. Our first night, Monday. It is wet, rainy, thundering, lightning. It's really gross outside. Does this look like this? Sorry, the lighting's pretty shit. We've actually got four steaks. Um... I just put the rest on here because we actually had already defrosted some pork steaks for last night but we ended up having a pork roast at my family's house. Nice. We've got the salad here which I'm not too excited about to be honest um, but it's got a yummy dressing in it, oven cut fries and instead of the whole grain mustard sauce that they have here on theirs we've just got oh. Dijon. Oh my gosh really? <laughs> that is disgusting. So yeah let's tuck in. What do you think? <clears throat> Out of five. Harvey? Well, clearly. Six. Six. This was so good, guys. So tomorrow we are having crunchy chicken nibbles with a potato salad, a beetroot slaw. So check back then. Oh, it is Tuesday and you're just making this extremely awkward by just standing there, Harvey. Looking like a real idiot. Can you please? Okay, bye. Um... <laughs> You look like a freak. Um, so tonight's dinner, because I've actually changed them around, they're meant to be on different days, they're meant to have different meals, but I've changed them around. So yesterday we had the pork steaks, today we are having the crunchy chicken nibbles with this slaw and this potato salad. We just went out and got a few ingredients because these are the things that we didn't have. We didn't have any more mayo, we used it last night. We had no milk either, so we got this really little one, and we didn't have any whole grain mustard either. So in the recipes, you do have to have a few staples, like uh, vinegar is one of them. Really? Oh, just be quiet. And um, what else did we have to use in this? Mayo, vinegar, and yeah, so... That's what we are having for dinner tonight, oh, so let's let's get into it. Oh my gosh, this chicken smells so good. Do you want to put that on the table, Avi? So, because we had so much leftovers, we've got salad from last night. That's the potato salad right there with the feta. Our beetroot salad. Does it look like this? I reckon our chicken looks way more crispier than theirs. 
what a feast delicious so we destroyed that it was delicious so freaking good got two salads left which is great because i'll take that for lunch tomorrow uh what do you rate it out of 10. nine gee that's pretty good the salad was yum yeah the salad but was really good salad was... yesterday's salad we decided to eat I you didn't eat much i ate it I yeah, because I just I don't find baby spinach and cabbage like any like exciting. I preferred this one, which had the cool thing about it is they've got like fresh ingredients, like fresh beetroot. Like I don't know how much that costs in supermarkets, but it's definitely something that I don't buy. I think it's quite expensive actually. Mm. So it's good that we've got these like local delicious ingredients, the which is were nice too. And I hate normally I hate cow's feta or cow's milk feta, but this was really good. So yeah, second meal done. Tomorrow though, we are not having a Bible Box meal because it's my brother's birthday. So we're just going to have, um, I think we're going to have nachos or something. I don't know. Something like his favorite meal. So, and it's going to be here. So that's okay. Cause that means I've got one bargain box meal for the weekend. So stoked about that. Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday, which means it is meal number well, technically it would be meal number four, but last night we had nachos for dinner for my brother's birthday. And literally, this is how much I just dislike nachos. Purely because I've had it so many times. Every birthday we seem to have it for everyone's birthdays. I've actually popped it into these containers. Actually, where is the other one? Oh my god, don't tell me that mum's taken it. That's a good idea if she has, because like that's just too much nachos for us. We are having, I think it is Bombay chicken. Let's have a look. Um, yep, yeah, it is Bombay chicken, which looks really, really nice. So I'm actually going to put on a bit more basma basmati rice because I feel like that's just going to be like not enough. And yeah, I'm going to get started on that. So guys, this is what mine looks like, the one that I made. There's the rice over there, and this is what it should look like. So I think it did very well. Oopsie, sorry. Um, 
I had to cook the rice in the rice cooker though because I suck at cooking rice in a pot and then you're meant to put a little bit of this on top so yeah okay so tonight's dinner is cottage pie beef cottage pie oh my god that's really rude of it pulling the fingers that's that's really mean to my followers anyway Yours this are. is what it's meant to look like and this is what I'm about to put in the oven. I'm really, generally, can you like shut your face? Oh my gosh, Avi's just being such a freak. Um, I'm generally surprised at how much it actually filled this. This is like a, I don't know, I actually don't know very well measurements. But it's actually a pretty big one. And it pretty much fit in there except I just didn't have quite enough topping. But anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven. It tastes really, really good. So I'm excited. I feel like I'm doing pretty good so far. Let's ignore the dishwasher in the background. But this is how my cottage pie has turned out. I think I didn't reduce it for long enough. So there's like quite a bit of sauce. But that's okay. I don't mind. It looks very good still. And yes, I'm excited to eat it. I wanted to show you the cottage pie the next day. It's actually set a lot more. And I think it was just because I was being a hungus and I really, really wanted it. But as it cooled down, it set a little bit more and actually looked like a cottage pie. I must admit, I felt like there was just too much cheese. So the top of it was quite like hard. Well, not hard, but it was like melty, delicious goodness. But I just think there was just a little bit too much. But anyway, that's what I'm having for lunch today. Super stoked about that lunch. That should be good. Good evening, everybody. It is day six of the bargain box technically it's day five because it would be the fifth meal but because we had uh, my brother's birthday on wednesday and that wasn't part of bargain box um yeah we're having it for dinner tonight well actually i'm having it for dinner tonight because Avi is not here once again so it was a pretty simple meal this is the only meal i have to say i was kind of a little bit disappointed about because it's just so simple um, so it's a ham and cheese pasta bake and I'm just about to pop this into this because my other thing that I made last night is soaking so I have to use this round dish I think this is going to be a perfect meal for a Saturday night like yeah it's very carb overload oh. so this is what my pasta bake looks like and theirs looks a whole heap better but it smells really good and of course my glass of wine super excited for this dinner for one but this clearly looks like dinner for eight <laughs> um it's funny because this is actually for two people i think that's definitely a lot so i'm going to dig into this and enjoy hey guys so i actually totally forgot about ending this in but this is my overall review on what i think of bargain box so firstly i love how it keeps you on track and how every night you can come home and you can cook up a meal that doesn't take long some of them take well it says that they take around 55 minutes but they don't um i think it's just an estimate guess but yeah for the most part it was like 30 minutes and some of them were even less than that because especially if you've got help in the kitchen you can get somebody to do something else and you can do the other bit of the recipe so it's yeah it's pretty convenient in that way that i can just come home and quickly make dinner the second great thing about it is that i'm actually going to be probably doing it weekly because last week just the week just been um because i've done barking box uh, a week ago 
this week, should I say, has been so sucky not having bargain box because we've come home and been like doing the whole um and ah and thing where we don't know what to do and that have resulted in actually having takeaways one night so that's what we want to steer away from we don't want to have takeaways so yeah i'm definitely very keen on getting it we're getting it this week again so i'm gonna switch it over to uh weekly until until avi's um family comes we probably won't get it then because it just won't be enough food but for the most part, I have to say, out of all the dishes that we cooked this week, I would have to say my favourite was the chicken nibble one. Like, it was just delicious with the potato salad. I mean, potatoes, duh. Um, and the beetroot salad, very, very delicious. My least favourite would have been... Actually, none of them were my least favourite. Um, but the one that I probably... Yeah. Thought about the portion... And how we probably wouldn't have got full was the first one, the pork one. If we didn't have the other pork that I had defrosted the day before, then I reckon that we would have been really, really hungry. Um, but apart from that, it was really good. I highly recommend to anybody that's wanting to make dinners easier. Um, it's just so much easier. Like You just know exactly what you're going to make when you get home. I actually was excited to make dinner because normally I'm like... Oh, dinner and also with me and Avi we found that there was always leftovers like good amount of leftovers for either lunch or maybe another dinner which was fantastic so anyway I thought that would I just wrap this video up hopefully it's not too long but um that was pretty much my thoughts on bargain box I definitely give it like an like an 8 out of 10 and the reason being is because this week's um this week's menu is looks delicious but there's a few beef meals which Avi can't eat so that's the only qualm I have about it is you can't really like if you're a vegetarian I think bath and box might not be for you you might have to go to another like to my food bag but apart from that it's really good now I'm rambling I'm so sorry um but thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you decide to try out bargain box if you do want a discount code I'll pop it down below that gets you ten dollars off your first purchase so definitely use it because ten dollars ten dollars comes in handy anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next bye